at Earth Riparian, we've turned our 1950s homestead into a permaculture demonstration lab to show how all humans can thrive and live abundant lives with food security and clean water. Come on, River Dog, let's go! At the front of the house, we designed and built a solar power port that provides almost all of our power needs, including running our air conditioning and charging our electric vehicle. We designed the metal roof to collect chemical-free rainwater coming off of the structure, as well as support the solar array. The shade structure also provides a place to hang my favorite canoe, giving me quick access to the Guadalupe River. We rough milled the repurposed wood right here in the driveway. One investment, one build, multiple functions. In permaculture, we call that stacking functions. This wraparound porch is the entryway to the garden. It was added to the home to pull water away from the foundation. It creates covered space for our gardening tools, our bicycles, and provides a comfy area for us to seed our transplants and organize our harvests. These wraparound porches draw breezes year round, effectively cooling the entire home. I designed these rock paths to demonstrate finding your path, building your path, and maintaining your path. This has become a mantra here at Earth Riparian. These paths for me are a constant reminder of healing the land and bringing us back to nature. They carry me to the gardens and are another excellent example of stacking functions. One of my favorite features of the property is the outdoor shower. When I'm showering outdoors, I get a feedback loop from Mother Nature. I just simply don't get indoors. To create privacy, we used an Ekman spiral design, repeating our sacred geometry theme. We use this shower to clean off, cool off, and rinse vegetables and tools. The plants and pecan trees around the shower make good use of what would otherwise be wastewater. We contain the soil in our raised beds with rolled river rocks using a Berman Swell style inspired by sacred geometry patterns. We are transitioning from winter to summer gardens. Our tomatoes are fruiting and blooming, chard and celery continue to grow prolifically, and we are beginning to harvest squash, peppers, cucumbers, and artichokes. The Wicking Pond is the lowest point of the property. It draws all the water away from the structures and puts that water right here where we want it. It balances the moisture content under the foundations. During rain events, it draws from the paths, receives overflow from the rainwater tanks, and stores water for a few days, wicking up into the hugoculture beds. At Earth Riparian, we have four storage tanks that collect 6,400 gallons of rainwater. An important practice in permaculture is to create redundant systems. This system ensures water security and allows us to feed our organic beds with chemical-free rainwater. This is our whimsical tool shed. We used leftover materials from other projects to build something fun and functional. This 8x12 multi-purpose tool shed was one of the best return on investment projects to date. It charges our batteries, serves as a safe storage for all of our tools, and keeps them organized and accessible. It also adds a colorful flair to the back section of the property. In Central Texas, the overpopulation of deer is a major concern when starting any garden design. 10 years ago, the deer were eating everything we planted, so we installed a fence that was tall enough to help River Dog protect our food supply. We chose cedar for the perimeter of the homestead, which are sustainably harvested in the Texas Hill Country. We also created a few privacy screens using free cordwood. It's an experimental design that adds to the character of the property. This is where we store the mulch and we cook the compost. It's where all the magic happens. We use the compost to build biomass and feed the beds. The mulch insulates the soil and stores water, eventually turning into more biomass. These two ingredients are the perfect recipe for healing and repairing soil. 
Over time, we have brought in close to 50 cubic yards of tree mulch to help build biomass, humus, and till. It acts like a sponge and can store up to four times its weight in water. We are confronting some of the biggest ecological challenges in human history. The good news is the solutions are relatively simple. We can, in a short period of time, heal our earth. I know we can. In fact, humans are doing it all over the world. Join us. I'm Woody. I'm an Earthaparian. You too can be an Earthaparian. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed our video, like, share, and subscribe below. And remember, when you heal the earth, you heal yourself.